Yo, what's up guys? Gecko here, and we are starting a new series today in Cassette Beasts. Cassette Beasts is a monster tamer type of game, um, similar to Pokemon, that kind of genre. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, um, but I've heard good things about it, and as a huge Pokemon fan, I would love to try other monster tamer games and kind of see different takes on the genre. Um, I do know one of the differences with this one is that rather than actually catching, like, beasts as your companions, I believe you, like, download their data somehow and you turn into them. That's my understanding. Um, and I believe all of the battles are also 2v2, like, double battle kind of style, rather than, um, like, the 1v1 format. I think all of the battles in the game are like that. So the strategy will probably be a bit different, too. Um, I am coming in with no expectations. Like I said, I don't really know much about it. Um, it just looks really cool. And I'm going to do my best to, like, not really compare it to Pokemon. Um, if I do, it'll purely be, you know, to talk about uh, certain gameplay mechanics and have, like, a reference point of something to compare it to if there are things that are similar. Um, but I'm not coming in trying to compare it, trying to say one is better than the other, any of that. Um, I just want to enjoy the game and uh, see what it has to offer. So we're going to jump right into this. Start on an empty file. Now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of Whirl, a few, th few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. I wonder if that's from an actual poem. It says 14th century, but I'm like, is that in this world or is that actually a poem? Oh, time to make a character. All right. Well, our name is not Cass. It is Gecko. So we are going to change that first and foremost. This part may take a while. I love character customization. So I'm going to make sure. Do they have? Oh, bless. Fucking bless. Every game should have this option now. Is that it? Okay, those three. But thank you for having this in here. I definitely want to be called they while I'm playing. Okay, favorite color? Does this change colors on the characters? I'm not seeing it change anything about them. Okay, let's do skin color first. I am pale as all fuck. Um, <laughs> hairstyle, what have we got? Oh, I kind of like this. This is fun. The ponytail. Uh, oh, that's a headscarf. Oh, that's kind of fun. We can have long hair. Let's see, did I go through them all yet? Or are these still new? Is that a cat headband? Wait, that's so fun. I might I might have to do that. The, the hairstyle isn't really me, but I just want to wear a cat headband. Maybe you can get other accessories as you play. Oh yeah, we started on bald, okay. No, we started on balding. I think these are still different. We can wear a helmet. Here, here's where we started. Gosh, there's a lot of choices. Um, I kind of like this. Even though I don't have long hair anymore, I like how this looks. Can we, can we have blue hair? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I usually go with blue hair, sometimes purple, depending on what the game has. Um, I kind of like this, too. Let's see, what, what else can we do? We can do, like, almost a silver. Well, like, anime silver hair looking ass. Uh... I'll probably, I'll probably end up going with blue. Which shade, though? Is it, I do like this, too. This gives, um... What character does this remind me of? This reminds me of, um, what's her name? The girl from, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Doesn't she have hair kind of like this? Or is it longer than this? I don't know. It, the shade reminds me of her. Um, I think I'm gonna do... I actually kind of like the... Where was the purple I like? This one? Actually, this is almost pink. I like this, though. Um, hair accessory. Oh, we can change that, too. Um, we'll do this. Uh, I was gonna say we'll do this blue, but... Yeah, well, let's do that. Something a little more muted. I wanna know what the favorite color is. Maybe there are other things you get that are your favorite color. I'm gonna make this... Orange. My favorite color is actually blue, but I like... I like having the orange with... Uh, you know, like a purple or a blue. If we end up getting things that are orange. I don't know how that's going to come into play yet. On our face, let's see. We can have eyeshadow. We can have... Oh, this is fun. Wait. I might do this. I'm going to look at all our other options, but I love the beard. The beard is great. Grumpy face. I do like that. We can have a visor. That does look cool. Face paint. 
Okay, that's it. I kind of dig the beard. I could rock this. I'm going to do this. Okay, eye color. I don't our character doesn't have irises as far as I can tell. I don't think this is changing anything. And then face accessory, we don't have any. Maybe we can buy some at some point, I don't know. This is our character. I love this dude. I, going into this, I never would have thought that this is the look I would go with for this game, but we're gonna rock with this. We are in some kind of rainbow void. Boxing with pupper cut. Is that a is that one of the beasts? Squirry? Palangolin? Oh, I will love that one. I don't even know what it looks like yet, but I will love that one. Pom bomb snoopin. The Brax suit. What would that be? Skelevangelist? What the hell? <laughs> I want to know what a Skelevangelist is. Harbor Town Beach. Oh, we can jump in this game? Yo. Oh, okay, we died. Um, we can dash. Oh, we got stamina though. Can we pause yet? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we got stuck on something. Oh, here. Hello. Oh, what are you? What are you? Hey. It's like a hermit crab with a cone. Oh, we got, hold on, the music is super loud. Let me turn that down just slightly. Okay. Hey, stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crab? <laughs> Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Hell yeah, dude. Got our fucking cassette player. Let's go. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Uh, that's a good question. I do, the thing is, I wouldn't say spooky. My aesthetic is like edgy. Not, not literally like spooky ghosts. And I am a hoe for candy. We'll go with sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. In that case, take this. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, that, that affected our starter. Okay, interesting. Can devil. Can devils possess the peculiar ability to generate sugary sweets from their bodies, which can be used as gifts or as ballistic projectiles. Either or. Some find this quite charming, whereas others argue it's actually very weird and gross. Uh, raise this monster's tape to five stars to unlock inf more information. Oh, that's cool. So they have like a second page of info about them if you use them, it sounds like. Habitat unknown. Uh, I don't know what bootlegs are yet. And that has how many we've encountered, too. All right, now just pop that in your cassette player, put on the headphones, and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. What are you going to turn into is the question. Well, hell yeah, dude. Rock on. Your turn. Don't be shy. Dude, this music slaps, too. Oh, is our body like a beaker? Or is that just like the, a pattern? I can't tell. Just breathe. You'll adjust in a moment. Right. Right. Let's give him hell. All right. What can we do? Fight, switch, item, flee. Oh, we can record. Can I can I record the crab? Oh, I don't have tapes. That's how it's gonna work. That's your like capture item. Okay. What do we have? We have smack. We have sugar rush. The user's speed is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP loss. Yo, that's sick. Oh, this is a passive thing though. So, oh, if it's passive, our speed is just gonna be going up when we lose HP. Oh, that's a neat neat thing. That, this is all we have, so we just have to use smack. Oh, we control you for now, too. You have spit, you have dodge, which raises evasion, and call for help. We'll just spit on them. Just just do damage for now. Oh, that was a one-hit KO. Nice. Sweet. We got some plastic. We got Bonbon bon Blast. Is that an attack? Yeah, ranged attack. Power 70. Oh, it's a low accuracy move. Don't like those. <laughs> Hits one target and lowers their evasion. Sweet. You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's I'm your Kaylee. name? I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Gecko. They've got a little bit of an accent, which I'm not going to be able to do. I'm terrible at accents, but... Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. 
Am I in my- Oh, I guess I am in my pajamas right now. I didn't even, like, I didn't even register the outfit. I was just like, yep, this is, this is what we're wearing. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? What is this place? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. Buy a new home? I, I don't even know if we have a home or not. We don't know how we got here. Uh, right. Yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. Oh, shit. The whole town? Oh, did I just pass out from that? Wonderful. Wonderful, you're awake. Haley gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. You had me scared for a moment, Gecko. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Ah, that was why. I thought we fainted from the shock of, of being stuck here. Anyway, Harbor Town happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your place now. Where on earth is this place? On Earth? On Earth? Kaylee, you haven't told them? Sorry. Sorry, I should've. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. It's not strictly on Earth, at least that's what we think. Oh shit. Are we could be in a completely different world. Well, we probably are. Is there a way I'm back afraid home? afraid not. Oh shit. That got serious, the music stopped. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. Damn. <laughs> but you'll be okay. There's community in Harbor Town, and we help each other out. It's not a bad life, and it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters, like the one we fought before. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually going on patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate, the one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new face in town. Uh... We also fetched some clothes for you, though they may be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. My era? Yeah, how, do you old, how, how old do you think I am? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. Well, if people have been here for a century, though... That means that we're at least in a second generation of people, so there probably are people who have been born here and actually haven't gone through that part of it. Okay, this is the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee in the Harbor Town East entrance. Oh, we also have a handbook. You can read this to review what you've learned about life on the island. All right. I wonder if we'll get to customize our house and get stuff as we go. Yeah, we are in pajamas, aren't we? Or well, not now. Oh no, they said they gave us clothes for that we're from a different era or something. It's just like a gray, like, dress-looking thing. Oh, never mind. These are not proper clothes, apparently. Okay, what what can we... Oh. Wait, how do I... Oh, pfft. it's right there. Yeah. Not that. Wrong button. Oh, so this we can... Oh, we have choices now. Hold on. We can change our... Oh, okay. We can go with the plain old t-shirt. We can have a dress, a vest. A jacket. I kind of like the vest. It looks like a, a tank top. Which I do like to wear. You can wear an apron. The vest jacket's fun. Poncho. Oh, we're back to the start. I'll, I'll just go with the... Here. Oh, what color? Oh, here, I'll go with orange. Our favorite color in this. I don't think there's a second color on this thing. Okay, what can we have on the bottom? We can just do some shorts. We can do a skirt. Oh, that's kind of it. Okay. What color shorts should we do? Could match our hair. Uh, I kind of like the green. I don't know why. This probably doesn't match at all. I just like it. Here, we'll, we'll match our, our shorts. There we go. Okay. Now we're in proper clothes. I just jumped down the stairs. Hello there. You know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbor Town start a football team? I mean, you could. Why not? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. You could try it. Have you asked them? That sounds kind of fun, honestly. Okay, I want to see what we have here. Beach Jerry. 
Oh man, there's gonna be so many. The traffic crab we've already seen. Yeah, we don't know anything about it yet though. I wanna know the name of the one that she turned into. Sirenade, nice. It is a sick design, I do like that one. Hey. Are you new here on the island? The look on your face gives it away. And also the fact that my face is new and you haven't seen it before. I, I doubt anyone similar to this look has walked in here, if I had to guess. Have you been to the west side of Harbor Town yet? I've been meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. Good to know about. Oops. I, I don't know why I'm so fucked up on the controls. I keep pushing the wrong thing. I do love that we can literally just leap off the edge here, though. I was hoping to cross the bridge, but it's been raised for a while now. That's fine. I can stay on this side of town, I guess. Okay, so we can't get to the west side right now. Whee! Okay, well, what's up? What's up here? Hello, sweetie. Oh, hello. Hello, sweetie. If you're here to sign up with the rangers, you just missed Ian. She'll be at the outpost in the park. If you go north from the outskirts, you won't miss it. Hello? Is this, is this a baby or just a bald guy? Hey. Hey there, champ. Are you here to work out? Um, let's find out how it works first. Sometimes it's not enough to just be good at transforming. Sometimes you need simply to be stronger. That's where I come in. I can give you a custom workout designed to adjust the base stats of your human form. That'll affect the strength of your transformations, too. If you decide, for instance, that you need melee attacks to hit harder, but don't rely on ranged attacks much, we can move some points from range to melee to do just that. And as you advance through your training with the rangers, you'll no, uh, you'll no doubt find yourself with a few extra points to put towards those base stats. So what do you say, champ? Okay, until we kind of know the mechanics a little more, I'm going to hold off on this. But this is very interesting. I will definitely want to do this Bye. and optimize a little bit once we actually know what our play style is going to be like. Oh. Oh. I need to get faster if I want to be able to outrun those crab monsters. Actually, can we look at our... Is it party? Well, this isn't our monster form. How do we look at... We can check ourselves. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, so, oh, all our stats are even right now. Okay, interesting. Here, check tape. Oh, here's what I wanted. Okay, the moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as to put them back in your inventory. Okay? Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways. By filling tapes experience point bars from chests or caches you find from certain merchants. Okay, cool. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So instead of just like, you know, getting moves as you level up, as you do in like most RPGs, we can also find, like, find them and, and, you know, rearrange our moves at any time. It looks like it already put Bon Bon Blast on for us. I want to see what this does. Oh, we already looked at this. That's right. Um. Oh, yeah. I wanted to look at this thing's stats. Okay. We've got sp uh, ranged attack and melee attack are pretty even. Range defense. Oh, is that what that is? Range and melee defense? That's an interesting way to do it. So yeah, those are also fairly similar. Our speed is our lowest, but we do get more speed as we get damaged because of our passive ability. Well, actually it's not even an ability, it's a sticker. So I guess that's something that we could remove too. Like that's cool because then if you get ones, you know, other passive things on stickers, you can really kind of rearrange how the beast functions. By, by the passive, like, stickers and powers that it has, too. That's really cool. I like that. Um, so, is she going to be in my party forever? Oh, level 95? Wait, what? Oh, no, 5. Sorry. The, there was, like, a weird, like, I don't know. For the screen that I was looking at had a weird thing where it looked like a, a 9 instead of a 0. <laughs> I was like, why are we starting there? Okay. Signature tape, 10% to all stats when transformed into Sirenade, or it's it's remaster. I wonder if that's like how evolutions are in this game. Maybe it's they don't evolve, maybe there are just kind of different forms of them. 
Um, okay, your stats are also even right now. I wonder if I can have her exercise and, and rearrange those. Um, let me also check your tape. So we have those three right now. Can I, do I have, here, apply a sticker. I don't have any right now, okay. I don't know if we started with any. But like, it's interesting because theoretically, I wanna try this, hold on. Could I theoretically take, like let's say I take this off. Can I give it to Can Devil? Or, or does it limit what moves you're allowed to know? Apply for help apply it you can oh that's so interesting i wonder how customizable it is like is it restricted at all or can you literally put any sticker on any monster or on any beast that is cool okay i'm gonna i'm gonna put it back for now i just wanted to test if that works okay put, put that back for you i wonder i want to try using this maybe we'll use this in the next battle i want to know what the ally is that shows up Okay, I'm gonna save. I, th I think it's been auto-saving too, but. Okay, and then our map is, yeah, just the parts we've explored so far. Cool. All right, let me, let me chat with more people here. Harbor Town has always had some sort of community volunteer group. How else would it have stayed in one piece so long? Iant's Rangers are the la latest iteration of it. Gathering resources, assisting people's concerns. We do the whole list. Keeping things in order has gotten even tougher since the discovery of the cassette tape phenomenon. But if anyone can do it, I am can. Well, I know that transforming is way more effective in battle, but man, I miss the weapons the rangers used to fight with. Well, that sounds cool. Well, why not both? If I could be a can devil wielding a sword, that would be even cooler. I am mechanical gear sword. Excuse me was like the most steampunk thing I've ever seen. Why, why did we not bring these back? Or why did we get rid of them in the first place? I want to have weapons. Bro, you cannot just drop that in this game and then not let us use the weapons you're talking about. That's just cruel. I hope those come back at some point. Okay. This is... Oh, here, we can look at this. The scribbled notes say, I believe certain monsters will... Oh, they do call them monsters. I just assumed because of the title it would be beasts. I believe certain monsters will mature into different forms depending on whether it's day or night. Okay, cool. Oh, we can just, okay. <laughs> I love that we can just, we can just jump off of stuff in this game. It's great. Okay. Let's actually go do this, this mission now. Okay, let me, let me just, let me just check in here too. Was this my house? No, it's not. This is a uh. random person's house. For 101 years, this town has stood. Did you know that? I remember what this place looked like as a little girl. The town changes so much, so fast. But the foundations, they've always stayed the same. This is such a cozy little town. I like this. Hello. Sorry. Sorry, bud. You'll have to come back later to use the elevator. I'm doing a few long overdue repairs. Okay, so we will unlock more of the town as we go, it seems like. Not all of it is accessible at the moment. Hello. The dash is weird. It's so short, and you do this weird little stop afterwards. Hey. Hey again, Gecko. Are you feeling a little better? You know, you held your own the last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Sure. Glad to hear you're up to the task. You see that path well. there? There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're going to check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Here, take the key to the gate. Sweet. Open up. Oh, a one-time use. It removed from my inventory. Interesting. Maybe that'll just be open forever now. Anything in here? Oh, we can go. Oh, okay. Nope, we drowned. I was about to say we can go in the water, but we really can't. Okay. Oh, what is that? Is that a person? Uh, right, uh, there's some basics I gotta show you first. I hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Uh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I would just stay in monster form if it were me. You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a pastel horned devil. I'm very curious what the spooky starter is now. I'm, I'm not at all upset with what I got. I'm just really curious what it would be. 
Also, you're the bike. Hmm. What is that? Is that like a wolf man? You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel, and it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're gonna get closer, of course. A spring heel. Is it a bunny? Spring like jumping? Oh, it looks like a or a bat, maybe? Hello. Oh yeah, it's like a bat, dude. I like it. Hello. Okay, action points. Pay attention to these orange squares. They're your action points, or AP for short. Uh, most moves require you to spend some. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough, you won't be able to use it this turn. Each member gets two per turn, and an extra if they land a type advantage to attack. Oh, I didn't even look what type we are. Where do I see that? Okay, you can plan ahead and save AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker, lower AP moves. Okay, yep, because if you only spend one on your turn, then you're gonna get two the next time. Or you can earn more by doing super effective attacks. That's cool. Okay, so we have, does it tell us what type these are? I mean, okay, so if we do, oh, this doesn't take any. This costs zero. Oh, so then we can save up to do this a lot more. Okay, spring heal, you gotta dive, sorry. How do we know if it's a type advantage to attack? I mean, we'll just spit for now. Oh, we got hit first, okay. You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your monster form's health, and the red is yours. If a form loses all its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but extra damage from the attack that it broke will apply to your health, the red bar. Oh, so we'll become human again if we pass, if we die, if we faint, whatever they're gonna call it in this game. If both of us lose all our health, we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got that? Right. Right. Let's crack on. Smack him. Smack him in the face. Spin on him. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> okay, I want to see Bon Bon Blast. Show me what this does. Uh, we'll just we could call for help just to see what it does, but this might kill it. Bon Bon Blast. Hell yeah, dude. Victory! Nice. Sonic Boom was equipped to Sirenade. Wonder what that does. It costs a lot. Yeah! Nice work! Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There will be a switch around here to turn it back on. So then... Let me check. Oh, that was on Sirenade. That new move, Sonic Boom. Range... Power six hits a whole team. Okay, so if there's multiple enemies, we can hit everything at once. That's nice to have, because everything else is single target right now. And we, it looks like, yeah, we're, obviously we're not gonna get, oh no, never mind. that's the human form. I was trying to see the health of Can Devil if we get healed or not. I as, No, I assumed we wouldn't. That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, ooh, can we go in here? Look at that. Hey. So we got like a 3D thing going on. Great, let's head on up, shall we? Well, uh, I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Unlocked Kaylee, sweet. Sir oh, we got a, a bio. Sirenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. Tails, plural? I don't see tails, I wanna see it. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Oh. Kaylee, are you, f were you flying? What the fuck? What just happened? Was she supposed to do that or was that a bug? Hey. No, she can fly. Does that, does she have her wings in human form too? Do you need a break, Gecko? We can rest here if you'd like. These bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. If you get, it uh, gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Okay, we'll battle the crabs after. We'll just, we'll just heal here. We'll camp. Oh, we gotta pay though to rest. Okay, tape storage. Let's actually wait then. Let's battle these crabs first before we um. Oh, are they gone now? Where'd they go? Okay, never mind. Well, we don't, because we don't really need to heal that much right now. I'd rather save our wood until we are actually a little bit more damaged. 
There will be more monsters about, but we can take them. I haven't seen you around before. Let me guess, you washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Uses up a turn in combat. Ooh, rewind. Got it. Thank you. So there's some healing that we can use in battle. What's with this vortex? Oh, it's blowing us off. I see it now. Come on, it's this way. She does have wings. What the hell? I want wings. Give me wings. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what are you? What is this little dude? Is that a snack? Mm. There, do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it to come over here. That's like a bug. That looks like a bug man. Is this a snack? It is, it's a little snack. A carna viper? Oh, I need that one. I like the crab too, I really like the crab. Okay, um, let's start by, let's, we know we can take the crab out in one hit because we've done it before. And then you are just going to, uh, eh, we'll just, we'll, we'll spit on this. Why not? Okay, never mind. It did that for the first battle, but not for this one. It was probably scripted before, or it was just a weaker one. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's Bon Bon Blast on you. Uh, let's just do this for fun. Why not? Sorry, little snack. I don't have tapes to record you with yet. Victory! Oh, I think I got a new sticker that I wasn't paying attention to. Raise arms, was it? Yes, okay. Uh, status. Raises the user's ranged attack. Okay. I feel like that's better for, um, Sirenade right now, because- Oh, this is ranged. Okay. Yeah, but Spit is ranged. I'm, I'm actually going to give this to Sirenade. Because, um, her, uh, whatchamacallit, her zero cost attack is ranged, so it's way easier to set up if we can do it quickly with this. Apply that. Okay. Should I fight more of them? Probably, for the experience, right? Hello. Velocirifle? rifle? Excuse me? I just saw Velocirifle rifle on the loading screen. Whatever the fuck that is, that is what I'm gonna be using. We're gonna find that, and that is what we're gonna be using. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get rid of you, because you're annoying. Let's raise arms. Ow, don't spit on me, peekaboo. Okay, lowered our accuracy, that's not fun. I love this music, the music is so catchy. Oh wait, we can bonbon bon blast. I think, I think that, I don't know if that'll take you out, but it might. If, if not, we can, can we sonic boom? Yes, we can, just to ensure that we kill that. Oh, we missed, fuck. That's annoying. Ow, I don't appreciate that. Yeah, take you out. Get him out of here. Give me that experience, baby. We got some Hulk. Nice. Okay. Um, I feel like we should heal now. Let's go back to the fire. Ow. On my legs. Oop. Camp. We, I mean, we have quite a bit of wood already. We don't need to worry too much. I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. Oh, she's Irish. Okay, I definitely can't do an Irish accent. I apologize. There will not be much voice acting in this. I am not good at voices. My dad would drive the two of us to the countryside and we'd stargaze together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. Aw. I wonder if we'll get little dialogue bits whenever we camp. Or if it's just on occasion. Ooh, it's getting close to night now. I wonder if different monsters will come out at night. That would be cool. It's gonna take some getting used to that I can jump. Keep forgetting that. Ooh, no, that's the same. The music is spooky, though. Oh, we can't. I don't 
don't know if we can make that or not. Not quite. Oh, it's a little taller than this one is. Can we make this come over here, though? She's just showing off now. Oh, because it's a moth. It comes to the light. Hello. Okay. Okay, take these. Oh, hell yeah, dude. There's something about the monsters on New World. When weakened, their essence can be, well, recorded to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. Is it gonna force me to do this one? Because I kinda wanna save them for the other monsters. Oh, it's gonna make us, okay. Well, didn't it say we have to, we don't have to weaken it though? Can you literally just do it anytime? All right, we'll just do this so we don't accidentally kill it. 28% chance. Okay. Oh, but we're in human form now. Oh, maybe it takes time? Okay, I see. Got it. Dominoth. Dominoths see themselves defend as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights such as lamps. That's a mood, man. <laughs> Gotta get that lamp. Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you deal it while you're recording, okay? And how much damage the person recording it took. Oh, so I guess if it hits you, it probably makes it harder to capture it. Uh, buffing your attack or debuffing their defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal to target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as a monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated. Oh, that's nice. You don't need to worry about knocking it out. That's cool. But you can keep attacking it to lower its HP and increase your chances. Although it did seem like we were sort of locked into the recording once we chose that. So I wonder if it's a gamble in that sense where like we also can't flee because we just keep trying to record it. Maybe that's how it works. Yeah, I wanna see what you have. So you also have smack and then you have sprint to raise your speed, okay. Yeah, speed's slower than the other monsters we have right now. It's got pretty good defenses. Everything's pretty even actually. Really good range defense. Oh, you can rename them too. I guess you can give them nicknames. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. Ah, because we can switch, yes. Uh, switch over to you. And then we will Sonic Boom it. That's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Okay, so it might flee like during battle. Right. Now let's finish this bug off. That did a lot. Victory! Cool. So we'll have to level up our different monsters that we have. We got Zephyr, nice. That's what it was using against us. Oh, can we float now? Is this meant to happen? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. That's why she can fly. Makes sense. Don't panic. Oh, we do have wings! We actually got it, dude! I was actually kidding about that, but that's awesome. You can now hold B to glide long distances. It consumes stamina. Sorry. Sorry, I should probably have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this to glide. Uh, we can use this glide to get across that gap right there. Sweet. Accompanied to the broken pathway. Wait, I want to catch the snack. No, not the crab. Not the crab. I want the snack. Although, I mean, having the crab could be fun too. Maybe, maybe I'll have Kaylee get the crab. I don't know. I do like them. They are fun. I don't know. Why not? Why not record everything? Right? Got to catch them all. Elemental wall. That's new. Oh, they built with Legos. Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantaged attacks immediately break them. We still haven't really learned about types yet. 
I don't I don't know what types we are or our attacks or anything like that. Um Cause we've got like so there are these little symbols next to our names and also next to the moves we have. So that I'm assuming that's what that is, but I'm just not sure what they mean. So this is probably like neutral or normal type. Uh, this is the same. And then Kaylee, maybe wind type, air type, whatever they're gonna call it. Cause Zephyr, the attack was also that, that white, or not white, that green swirly symbol. These guys have like a, it's almost a recycling symbol. Is there like a plastic type? Cause they just built a plastic wall. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I'm assuming that we don't have type advantage on this. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do this just to test out whether we're super effective on this. No, okay, good to know. Ow. Now we're just gonna we're just gonna blast both of you. Did we break the wall? We didn't, darn. We took out the other crab though. Does it have to be a type advantage attack? Or did or can we also just hit it a certain number of times? I thought she said that we could also just hit it. Okay, we did get rid of it. Nice. Oh wait, I was gonna record them. I forgot. That's why we got into battle in the first place. Darn it. Especially no knowing they had that elemental wall, that seems really good. Cause I, I love tanky builds, dude. I love tanky builds. Oh, uh, we've got bite. Uh, Sirenade got, oh, what does this do? Hits one, heals the user a little bit. Ooh, we take a little bite out of them. Sirenade got provoke, prevents opponents from directly targeting allies. Oh, nice. That's good. Dominoff got, oh, Dominoff got experience too? Okay. Uh, Wallop. That's just a stronger attack than what we have. It's also a different type than Smack though. I don't know what that type is or that symbol. Cool. Um, how did it want us to glide? Oh, there we go. Okay, I, I fucked that up. <laughs> but that's how we do it. Okay. Oh, she just... Because she can just fly up as high as she wants. I want that power. Okay, wait. Let me let me actually try to catch one of these. I also want to try to catch the snake. Oh, that's new. A, a palm bomb? A Pomeranian bomb? Maybe we, we want that, too. We should try to record both of these. Okay, how much damage can you take? Okay, good. We don't want to kill it. Okay, let's damage them each a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to have Kaylee get the crab. Um, we're going to do another little hit on you. And we are going to try to record the crab. And then I'm going to grab the, the dog. Recording. Okay, pretty good chance. Nice. Got him. Sticky tongue. Oh. Oh, like when the battle's over? Is that how it works? Got it. Oh no, there we go. Okay. It just said 100% chance and then we didn't get it, so I got confused. The traffic crab's cone isn't actually part of its body. It's merely a traffic cone that has washed up on the shore of the New World and has been occupied by the creature. It is said that in the past, they would instead find other objects to live inside. I wonder if there are other forms that have other objects on them. Okay. So what do you have? I want to see your stickers. We got... Oh, we have smack of a different type, though. And then we have traffic jam, which lowers all other fighters' speed. But that's probably your ally, too. It says all other. That's kind of cool, though. Okay, and you automatically change back. That's neat. Okay, we are going to... I want to I wanna bite you. I'm going to take a, a nice big bite out of this puppy dog. Oh, I didn't... Okay, that killed. That's fine. 
We'll find another one to record. I should have known it would kill. It's a base 80 move when we were doing 30 before, but... Okay, elemental wall. We got that. Sweet. Okay. We kind of need to heal again. Uh, well, how badly do we need to? Can we try to get the snake first? Uh, what are... Oh, we do have... Let's see. Oh, wait, am I doing this right? Oh, wait, these aren't assigned to a particular person. I get how it works. Okay, I see. So it's like we we start out as these, but any of us can use these tapes, it looks like. But can I like choose to like start out as this? There we go, okay, got it. Because these aren't damaged yet. Let's try using our new guys, why not? Why not? All right. I also want to try to get the snack. Snacky snack. Hello. Come here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Snake. Um. Sprint Zephyr. Let's just try one of these and then try to record it. Don't spit at me. Oh no, that killed it. Oh no, never mind, you don't kill it. I forgot about this. If you're trying to record it, it won't die. Okay, sweet. Despite its grinning visage, the Karna Viper isn't actually a friendly creature. It's very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches it that it deems a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. Oh, he's a dangerous little noodle. Yes, you are. I love you. We have spit and we have raise arms with raises ranged attack. It's okay. You, this is probably poison type. Oh, it says it up in the corner. I just I did not see that until now. That was silly of me. Okay, we so we can check the other types too. Sweet. Okay, let's let's check out our other dudes so we can actually start learning some of these types. Um, because I do want to learn them. I also saw that we got a new move too. Okay, so your air type. Uh, your plastic type. So that is one of them. There are plastic types. Uh, you're also air. Your beast type. Okay, so that's like the normal type, I guess. Um, that's actually really interesting because, like I said, I came into this game blind. Uh, so I, I didn't know anything about it. But beast type is a type that I've conceptualized for my own Monster Tamer game. I don't have one that I'm like working on right now. Just like conceptually, if I ever made one. That's what I would do instead of normal type, because normal was never very interesting to me. Um, so that that's interesting that they had the same idea. I love the idea of a beast type. Uh, and then poison. We got toxic stab, which can poison the target. Very nice. Okay. So we're, so we're starting to get a little bit of type diversity on our team. Oh my god, are you serious, dude? I pressed the wrong button. I honestly have no idea why the controls are tripping me up in this game because they are not at all like complex or like weird compared to other games like I do not know why it's giving me a problem okay so we do this there we go okay now we're on the upper path we got more crabs um, it said we could go here didn't it say we could cross this gap I don't think we can that's way too far what about oh maybe up here I think this is what it meant got it come on it's this way oh wait it is oh okay they did mean this one over here well, unless there's some kind of updraft to catch, we're definitely not going to make that jump. Um, maybe this? Can we, can we use this to get somewhere? Not really. 
Probably can't jump up here either, no. Oh, there's a light over here. Or maybe not a light. Oh, there we go. Maybe we need to find something else like that, but for over this? Well, that's just like a shortcut back up here, I think. Oh, okay. Huh? What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. A little snack? Hello? Oh? Is it gonna be a big boss monster? Okay, you felt that one, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hello? Oh, or what? a dungeon? What is that? Was this always here? This isn't normal? I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? Oh, investigate the strange structure. We got our first quest. Ooh, what are you, a dandelion? Ooh, that's a new typing too. Probably grass type or plant type or something like that. Okay, let's get the viper out of here first. And then we're gonna try to record the dandelion. Revenge strike, ouch. Ow. Um, we're gonna, let's see how much Zephyr does. Let's see if this is super effective or not. Get out of here. Uprooted. Air type attacks can uproot plant types, disconnecting them from the source of their nutrients, the ground. Characters with AP drain gain one fewer age, uh, AP each round. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if the other, I wonder if it's not just like, oh, you do more damage if it's super effective. I wonder if there are other other interactions like that between other types. Surely there must be. Um, that didn't, that didn't even do half. So we can still land another one and also try to record. Racist melee defense. Got it. Nice. We got the dandelion. That's a big lad. Dandelions are loyal, defensive guardians. They're typically found standing at the entrances to important caves in the grassy plains of New World. If you find one with no uh, cave nearby, it may be a hint that something is hidden. Oh, so this was guarding that structure. That's cool. Okay, what do you got? Oh, you're a pretty defensive lad. A chunky boy. Pretty slow. You even have. Oops, I don't want to rename you. We even have Defend. That's all we've got so far. But all right, we got Plant Type 2 on our team. Oh, whoops, we still got to take you out. I forgot about that part. I also realized I was worried about killing it again, which you don't do when you're recording. I keep forgetting that. Any level ups? Nice, we got Revenge Strike. Chance to be used automatically when hit with a melee attack. Oh, so this must be a passive thing. Or or at the very least, there's a chance it can be used automatically, but maybe you can also choose to use it. That's cool. We got elemental wall. And then, yeah, we got some items. Very cool. Time to investigate. What the hell is this? Huh? Is this a train station? It should be okay to take a look around, right? I mean, nobody knew it was here. Who's gonna be upset if we look around? The music is ominous, though. Also, can I say, I'm having such a good time. I haven't really commented what I think about the game yet. I'm having a jolly good time right now. I hope you guys are too. This place smells like burning metal. I can't explain it. This is, it's just, it's, it's fun. I like the, the, combat mechanics so far. The monsters are neat. I'm just having a good time. Gecko, can you feel something in the air? What kind of something? 
It feels spooky. Huh? Oh shit. Oh, it's very spooky now. Holy shit, what are you? Huh? What the hell is it? Is that you, Mord? Mord? Mordred? Mordred. Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This is. This is. Uh, the long conflict has drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Gecko, I think this is an archangel. What the hell is that? We need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We are not safe here. What happened to you? No. No, no, you are not my kin. You come from me once again, sword in hand. I do not have a sword. I have a cassette player and a dream. Oh no. Uh-oh. Boss battle? Oh dear. Archangel Morgante. Yo, this music is gonna slap. Oh, it's already damaged. It's level 100. Kaylee, we are in trouble. <laughs> you already said it, but like, we're about to die. This has to be a scripted death, right? Let's, let's just try to attack and see how much we do. Ow. Yeah, we don't do shit. It's level 100. Just cordoned thrash. Okay, it missed. Uh, what is traffic jam? Lowers others. Okay. I think you need to switch to... I don't think we're supposed to win this, but we're gonna try switching to... Well, she could be the, the can devil. That's kind of fun, but we'll, we'll have you do this. Also, doesn't she have some ability that she's stronger when she's using Sirenade? This is gonna kill us. Yep. Oh, how did we live? Archangels. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all their AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once with a unique angelic attack. To survive, use your moves strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation or defeat it before it gets enough AP. I want to call for help right now. <laughs> um, oh, I could provoke it. Wait, did it attack both of us? I wasn't paying enough attention. Because if I provoke, it won't attack me. And I have a wall set up. I want to, I'm just going to test this. Characters with intercepting intercept all attacks directed at their allies. I am not gonna die here. Not like this. You hear me, Gecko? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. I refuse. We're gonna fight this thing and we're gonna do it together. Kaylee's Kaylee's about to go Super Saiyan mode, dude. Gecko and Kaylee's hearts act as one. Why am I saying Kaylee all of a sudden? Kaylee, act as one. A fusions? Yo, dude. This is sick. Fusion! When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, though. You can only fuse when this is full. The music too, dude? As a fusion, you gain 4 AP each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make more use of your uh, use of your more powerful moves sooner. You also have access to all the moves of both uh, tapes combined, and your stats are added together. Hell yeah, dude. We look stupid as fuck, but let's do this. Um, what do we- we have so much AP right now. What is- what is the strongest thing we have? Uh, I guess Sonic Boom. It kind of sucks that we didn't fuse with, um, Can Devil, but oh well. Ooh, now we're doing more damage. This is gonna hurt, though. We don't have much HP left. Oh? Okay. We take those. We've almost got it. Was this its its ultimate move? Oh, we held on. We barely held on. Take it out. Come on. Oh, 
That move misses a lot. It must have really low accuracy. Oh, we survived. I thought we were supposed to lose this battle. This Archangel was very, very damaged, though. Okay, we got Taunt on Dominoff. Sends the target Berserk, forcing it to use only damaging moves for the next two turns. Ooh, Inflame on Traffic Crab. We got a Fire move. That's cool. Got some Fused Material. I don't know what the items do yet. Uh... Uh, how did we... I don't know. Your stamina increased. You can now glide for three seconds. Sweet. Enough. Enough. My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I want a way off this island. I see. There is a way. There are none who know the path but I. I required a vessel, and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength, and in turn I shall lead you from this land. I mean, I said that because those were like my only choices, but I would actually stay here. This place is sick. Vessel. Very well. Hear my song. Oh, shit. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my son's song. Sorry. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. <sighs> Gekko, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. We should get out of here. Hmm. A lot happened at that train station. I guess we should probably talk about it. About the Archangel. Archangels. Supposedly, when the first unlucky sods washed up on the shores of New World, the thought, the, uh, they thought the monsters here were angels. And some of them wrote of other entities, too, greater than the others. Creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Also, can we just appreciate that that was their first thought? You wash up on shore... And you see a pupper bomb or pup bomb, whatever it's called, staring you in the face, and you're like, it's an angel, man. Honestly, that checks out. To be fair, that does check out. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat regular monsters, they lost their angelic allure. Well, they've had a bunch of other names over the years angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. That's a good catch all term. Those other creatures, though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's hard to explain. It felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly, like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm making some assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after all. <laughs> you might not know what movies are. I I've seen plenty of movies. <sighs> oh, okay. Grant, I've been in New World for three years and I've still not completely learned to adjust my cultural references when I talk to new folks. So about us fusing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. There are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it too. That's cool that you can find them in the wild as well. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and form one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances include nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange. In that moment, I was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both us and not us at the same time. Uh, I've never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. It just kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Sorry. Talking about it is a little awkward. It did help us defeat the Archangel, though. Yeah! Yeah, I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside me. Like, a door has been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again if we ever needed to. Hmm. So let me get this straight. That Archangel, Morgante, her memory is inside you now. And she knows a way to leave New World? If there's even a chance that this can lead to a way off this island and return people to their homes and their families, we owe it to everyone on New World to find it out. You and I! You and I. What do you say? Are we in this together? Let's do it. Aw, we, we leveled up our relationship. I was just gonna say, I kind of shipped my character with her already, but I tend to do this in so many games. I do this in so many games that I play, but I kind of love them. Fusions you form now have plus 5% added strength, sweet. 
I wonder what other uh, party members will get though, because this implies you can get other people on your team. Building relationships with your friends is really important. The strength of your relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can get closer to someone by completing their quests and by battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a break at a campfire or in the cafe to level up your relationship. Oh, okay, so like the little campfire talk we had might play into that too. Maybe if you do those with, with characters, that, that can boost it. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you need to find another one and you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. All right, we did our first quest. The new quest, Land of Confusion. Locate archangels to complete Morgante's song, then follow the clues it contains to find your way home. So there's our like objective for the game, it seems like. The rangers have a training program that will help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you a meeting with the ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost in the park right about now. All right, so we are going to head to the outpost and sign up to be part of the rangers. All right, well, that is a perfect stopping spot. That was a really good intro, I feel, to the game. We kind of got a feel for what the combat is like, how the monsters kind of work, as well as what the story is going to be. Um, so, like I said, um, I'm having a great time with it already. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's very charming. I'm just very taken in right away. I'm very, like, excited to play more and see where it goes. Um, very charming game. Um, the monsters are fun. I had no idea what to expect for like the design direction because like I said, again, I came into the game very blind. I purposely didn't look up the monsters from the game or anything, um, but they are fun. Um, I think my favorite so far is Sirenade. It just looks really fucking cool. Um, I do like Can Devil a lot too. I really love the aesthetic of facial features being missing. Like I love creatures with no eyes. I love creatures with no mouth. Like just that's my thing. So I really like Can Devil as well. Um, the candy corn horns are very fun too. So those those are my favorites, even though they're the two monsters we started with. Um, but I do like the other ones we've seen so far. Um, the traffic crab is really fun. Um, dandelion is a really fun concept. I love the blend of the dandelion pun with kind of like the lion-esque statues that you see guarding um, certain places. Um, very cool. So yeah, it's, it's really fun so far. I hope that you guys are enjoying it as well and are excited to see more of this game. I am excited to share this journey with you. So I will catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.